In Sage CRM, appointments and tasks have a lot of similarities. Right now I'm looking at my calendar of outstanding appointments and then over here I would see my outstanding tasks. If I am in the context of a company, all of the history, regardless of the status, will be here. So appointments, tasks, and emails, of course, and lots of them. But also in the context of a particular job, I'll see a communications tab here. And these are the communications specific to this individual job. If I were to go and create a new task, these tasks and appointment screens are very similar. They have the same layout. We can change specifically what action. The difference here will have to do with the scheduling. A task does not span a duration of time. It is what I refer to as point in time. Do something on a specific date. Call this person. Remember to do that. In contrast, when I create a new appointment, appointments span a duration. They have a defined start and a defined end. So this section here is very different, but otherwise it's very similar. I can select a specific action, profile it a specific way. I can stamp it as an all day event. I can send reminders. So this could be an in-screen reminder, which will give the bell a ring here, or I can have it send me an email, but I can also invite colleagues or other parties to this meeting. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the screen, we will be able to see availability. By default, communications that we create have a status of pending. And while all communications will show up here in a communications history tab, if they're pending, I can also see them under the calendar for my appointments Remember, these are what span a duration, and I can look at this in various different formats. But the tasks appear separately as a task, or I could also go to what's called a calendar list, which shows me everything, appointments and tasks, all combined into a single list.